Welcome back to Grim's Garage, and today we're doing another packaging purge. Today's theme is military, and unfortunately, I only have four models to open today. But, um, today also marks the first ever completed set for me, which is the Battalion 64 Series 1 from Greenlight. So, I'm just going to do a little showcase of all of those. So, let's start off with this Hot Wheels Fantasy model, the Invader. This is a first for me. I saw this, and as everyone knows, I'm a sucker for accessories. So, I thought that was pretty neat. The back states that also launches a missile. 2006 yeah um, I just have a little bit of fear I'm not sure how it works but if it's spring loaded and it's been retracted this whole time over all these years I have a little bit of fear that maybe it won't work as well as it should I lost some of that retention Malaysia Invader No date casting hmm. Alright, and there's no instructions on the package as to how the rocket works I assume you just give it a little bit of influence there on the back Let's find out Well, yeah, not sure how this works. This thing is in here stiff and solid. I'm not seeing any pressure release. I'm sure, it's just old and seized up. Yeah, I can feel a bit of a springy action here. But I'm not sure how to get it to release. I'll just assume it's old and seized, and I'll do a thorough search later on. Either way, I know I got to open it new, so I'm not too displeased with that. We'll move on to the Matchbox of the Day, which is a personal favorite of mine, the NASA Rocket Transporter. Um, this is the third one I've gotten open brand new with the uh, matching accessory. I have three or four of these used, but I've, I've never had the accessories to them. Previously, I got to open a five-pack that had um, two of these in them with the white camo theme and one had a rock er, one had this rocket and one had a jet engine um, those were two both were end up being fresh to my collection this on close inspection does replace an old chip version that I don't have the accessory to so I'm very happy about that this one is dated 1995 Pretty cool city scapes there. Eh? Action system. Right, let's get this open. Get that horrible rubber band off there. Hopefully it hasn't started to decay. Yeah, it's a pretty good band still. Here's the carrier. 
Mark T-7871-6. Army star on it. Matchbox transporter vehicle. 1150 scale. 1985 matchbox International Limited, made in Thailand. Very happy to have a fresh one of these. Of course, the rockets are very cheap plastic, easily lost and confused with other things. I easily would have thought that belonged to a G.I. Joe or something. You can see how they're easily lost or discarded. Yep. There we go. There's the assembled rocket on transporter. Now, before we open the last two green lights, let's take a look at the green light series one of Battalion 64. Now, I'm not a series collector. I have realized and decided I want to collect the green light station wagon series and uh, hitched home series. I love all of those. I, I got to get them all. I'm not, I'm not specifically a military, military fan, excuse me. Um, but I just happened to like all the models that were offered in this first series. Now, I did get a look at this series 2 and 3, and there's one, possibly two models in each of those that I don't like. So I will not be continuing to obtain the whole series. Like I said, this was all happenstance. So uh, we're going to start off with this M4 Sherman. Which I'm going to use the back of this to help. Because I didn't pull the cards off for all these. I believe, yes, this is the early one. This is the World War II from 1941. Some personal graffiti on the side there. It's a star on the front. Identifying numbers on the opposite side. So there's only graffiti on the one side. Green light 2021 and a number sticker which I don't completely trust means too much um, most of the body on this is metal the entire turret on top is plastic I'm not sure how it's assembled but it does move very smoothly it's like a plastic on plastic joint with uh, like some talc in there. It is very smooth. Um, all these wheel trucks are glued on plastic along with the wheels and they're supporting a rubber track which I mean all the separate detail I'm happy about but I worry about the rubber track and all that over time. I feel probably rot. Um, they do make it so it should roll and work properly, but a lot of them barely do because these trucks aren't glued on straight, each one. These ones don't look too bad now. You can see this one's a bit too cockeyed that way. This one's a bit off too. And that's because I had previously tried to straighten these out myself. They were way more out of whack. But I do really like having this uh, true 164 scale M4 Sherman. And we have two other ones to open. Well, first, let's look at the rest of the series. What do we got here? 84 Chevrolet M100 1008. Excuse me.
so I'm having the extra front bar. Don't believe the hood's open on these at all. Because they're already highly accessorized. It's got the extra plastic in the front. And that's the uh, plastic tank cab. But like I said, I got this whole set by happenstance. I like the tanks. I'm a fan of these Chevy trucks and I'm a fan of these Jeeps. So I just ended up with the whole set. I'm happy to have a reason to show it off. Here's the next one, the 87 M1008 Chevy. Which aren't much different than the uh, civilian models. They're just labeled differently because they were specifically built for the military, much like, uh, like Ford Interceptors. They're made for civilians under other names. They're just titled Interceptor when they're highly modified and manufactured specifically for police force. The cab looks a little wonky the way it's put together, but... Some trucks had some wonky cab alignment. Maybe that's accurate, but... No green light, who knows? Otherwise, I'm not. I wasn't too displeased with um, this whole set. Um, usually, I find a flaw or two on each model, and I was pretty lucky with this whole set. We've already previously seen these Jeeps in some of my other videos, if you are a fan. What was this labeled? 1970 Jeep TJ5 Same as listed on the card I've got a police and an ice cream truck version of this This one's got some popping colors And popping off stickers too Nineteen forty three Jeep Willys. That is very small. I had to look at it off camera. But I really like the details on these smaller vehicles. Or smaller Jeeps. And the top does come off of this one. As featured in a previous Jeep vehicle or uh, video. Excuse me. And with that, let's open the last one from my Battalion 64 Collection Series 1. This one being the 52M4 Sherman tank. Which, as far as I can tell, and I'll take a little closer look, I don't. there's no difference in any of these other than the paint and decals. Physically, I have not seen anything. And they include some of the other ones that I have not gotten yet. I've looked at pretty closely. The photographs, they don't look any different. But, you know, if you gotta have it, you gotta have it. Okay, um, I'm seeing one noticeable difference already, that barrel is a lot longer. So I stand corrected, there's at least one tiny alternate plastic piece. Rice's Red Devils, now before the blacked out one. This was the one out of the two I wanted the more. I did not see it in stores. Which the only store near me would have had it is my local horrible 
lobby. But yeah, I'm really liking the the graffitied face on the front of this. single only difference between these two other than the cosmetics is the alternate barrel the left side kind of works so is the right side they're both going to be a little a little bit of adjustment. And you can see the track's not completely on there. But neither was the other one. We'll fix it up. That is gorgeous. And to finish this off, I got the Black Bandit version. I'm liking the Black Bandit version. 64 Impala Lowrider. I'm not sure what that looks like. I'll have to take a look to see whether I want it. The K20 Scottsdale. I have that one. And um, that's it. I believe I have all of the Series 26 Black Bandit collection that I want. series as far as I can tell they take one model from each set that they feel is the most popular and just make a absolutely blacked out version of it with the BB logo on it there black bandit this seeming to have the smaller barrel like the uh the first one. But otherwise, still the same. They even have a black label for these ones. I thought it was a little different, but it just threw me off having a raw bottom. But anyway, yes, that is beautiful. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you join me again soon. I've got a new recent video pickups to do next. So have a good night. And sweet dreams.